So first of all, let's talk about the controls that you would want to use for this character. Obviously, you just want to make sure you use whatever makes you feel the most comfortable, whatever you use in general. But some things I would definitely highly recommend is to use tilt stick because Pyrus tilts are very beneficial, but Mithras tilts are really, really useful too. And you're definitely going to be down tilting a lot and forward tilting a lot and up tilting a lot using all your tilts. Something I like to do as well is I like to have L as jump just because it feels a little bit more comfortable doing some jump aerials with L or if I want to use my C stick with a jump aerial, I can use L and then jump and then use my, I don't want to go on the like pressing Y to the C stick, having to move my thumb from up to down there. It like might like cause a little bit of delay. Even if you're on pro con controller, it's still kind of difficult doing that. So having like one of your shoulder buttons as jump is de definitely very beneficial because you can just have a thumb free on your C-Stick whenever you want to use aerials and drifting aerials. I also recommend don't having tap jump just because up B is a very good option and you might be jumping whenever you up B out of shield and stuff like that. So having tap jump off will definitely make sure that you aren't jumping whenever you're trying to up B out of shield. So those are my recommendations. Everything else is just preference. So if you're playing in tournament and you land a grab as Mithra at low percents, maybe from zero to 30%, there are definitely some options that you can go for. You have a lot of options, but the main option that you should go for is just down throw up B because this option is very beneficial for reacting to both ways they DI. You can react to DI in, you can react to DI out. You can down throw, jump out and react to which side they are on. So you can turn around up B or if they're in front of you, you can just up B. Um, but if you feel like you are able to react to things, you can also do things like down throw and react to them with um, back air. If they DI in front of you, you can do raw back air. Or if they DI in, you can jump forward and then double jump back air up B. And yeah, that, those are some options that you can do at 0% to 30% with Mithra. If you notice that you are under a platform whenever you hit the down throw, you can land on the platform with Nair and then you can react to what side they end up on and go for either back air or just up B because it's easier to react with that. When you forward throw with Mithra at low percents, the only thing you want to look for is dash attack because it always combos no matter what character you're playing against. Sometimes people will not be DIing correctly and they might be put in a text chase situation. So you want to make sure you are ready for that so that you can potentially react to their tech option and get some more off of that. You might be able to get another grab or throw again, and you might get another dash attack or just another tech chase situation. So at low percent, you can also go for up throw and you can combo this into up air or forward air. And if you're in, under a platform, you can combo it into up air into another up air or into forward air after that. Or you can also combo into up B off of that as well. So when you land a Nair as Mithra at low percent, you're basically going to have a field day because this is probably the most creative you can get off of this option. You can go for Nair into back air. You can go for a Nair into a B. You can go in for a Nair into forward air. You can go into Nair into Nair again. You can even go for things like um, Nair into grab on fast fallers because they'll just still be on the ground. You can go into Nair into down tilt or Nair into honestly any tilt. And if you are on Town and City, you can go for Nair into Lightning Buster. And if they're really close to the edge of the phase, like close to the Blast Zone, it's going to actually potentially kill them. Another move that'll let you have a field day whenever you land it is landing back air at a low percent. Because after this, you can go for um, back air into another back air. You can go for back air into forward air. You can go for back air into a B. Sometimes you can even go into back air into Lightning Buster if you're feeling a little bit spicy, but there's a lot of things you can go for. You can go for a back air into honestly any attack except like maybe side B. Um, but yeah, those are the ones that you usually want to go for. Back into back air, back into up air, back air into forward air, or back air into up B. So when you're using forward tilt at low percent, you definitely want to make sure it's space and you're kind of using it as a poke tool because even if you do land it and it's max space, you can combo into a dash attack. You can combo into another forward tilt. If you're close enough, you can combo into forward air. And you usually want to combo into something. You can combo into grab. You usually want to combo into something that'll basically carry your opponents towards the edge of the stage so you can lead into the ledge trap or corner pressure situation. Whenever you use down tilt as Mithra at low percent, you definitely want to make sure that you are um, using a space because whether you are close or whether you're a space, you're basically going to get the same kind of combos, which is down tilt into forward air, 
down tilt into up B, down tilt into up air, or on fast followers or bigger bodies, you can go for a down tilt into forward tilt into dash grab and then basically get your grab combos off of that. So if you manage to land an up tilt at low percents, you're not gonna get too much off of it, but it's still a very good tool to use in very specific situations. So whenever you do land it, you can just go for up tilt into up air, or you can go for just up tilt into another up tilt, or sometimes you can just go for up tilt, up tilt, up B and just end the combo that way. So if you're using down air at low percent, you definitely wanna try to use the back end of down air because it's generally safer and it's a bigger part of the hitbox so you can be further away and you can still combo off of it into dash attack or if you down air pretty close to them, you can combo into forward tilt and then get your forward tilt combos after that. Sometimes you might want to retreat with some aerials and you might want to retreat facing them so that you can like use your um, forward tilt and stuff if you do land. Um, but if you want to retreat and you notice that they're coming at you, you might want to land with the forward air. You can definitely combo off your forward air into dash attack or if they're a faster faller, you can combo into dash grab and get your grab combos after that. So if you're playing Pyro for some reason at low percent, you can still combo with her with down throw because you can do down throw into forward air or down throw into up air. It's basically that simple. But sometimes if you're in a situation where you can land on the platform after the up air, you can combo the up air after the down throw into another up air or into forward air. Or if they're behind you, you can combo into back air. Or honestly, you can even combo into double jump in air. But you're usually going to go for another up air or another forward air. Also, you have down tilt at low percents, which will basically follow up into the same confirms as down throw, which is just forward air and up air. One of the juiciest moves that you can use at low percents to get a big combo is down air, because after you get the spike hitbox with down air, you can combo into grab. And after that, you can use your down throw combo, which is forward air or up air. Or you can use down air into jab, which is a very, very big combo. Might give you like 30 to 40 percent. Or you can just use down air into down tilt and you can use your down tilt confirms after that, which is forward air or up air. So another move you can use to combo off low percents is side B or her blazing end because because it's actually a tech. I'll call it a tech because it's not really well known. They can actually use to cancel the sword grab animation. And you do this by using your shield drop animation while the sword comes to you and you can then jab afterwards because you'll have the sword and you can actually use one of your attacks. So if you're doing mid percent combos with Mithra, you're probably going to be doing similar combos that you would be doing at low percents, maybe just not comboing into grab or into more tilt. You'll probably just go for more aerial combos because if you land like a down throw, you're just gonna go for back air like usual or just up B again because it's the easiest one to combo off of. You can also go into forward air, you can also go into up air. Um, if you're doing up throw, you're pretty much doing the same exact thing, you're just going for up air or into forward air. Um, even if you land on a platform, you still go into another upper or another forward air. Um, if you do forward throw, you're definitely going to still go for dash tech because that's the only thing that you can go to go for. Um, but sometimes you won't be able to get the dash tech and it'll just put them into a tech chase situation. So you'll want to go straight for the tech chase after that. So for landing there is basically the same thing, except you don't really have access to your tilts that you had at lower percents, but you still just go for landing there into forward air corner carry into up B, into lightning buster, into back air, into sometimes now you can actually do nair into side B, which is pretty optimal, but it's kind of like a tight window. So you don't really generally want to go for it in turn because if you mess up, you're going to get either get hard punished or if you aren't aware of where you are, you might end up off stage and just falling to your death. So for landing backer, it's kind of the same thing as lower percent. You just want to go for backer into backer. You can go for backer into forward air, backer into up air, backer into up B. But back into forward air now is actually specifically really good for getting your opponent off stage since that higher percent forward air will send them further. So it's easier to get them closer to the corner of the stage or off stage at this point, which will lead into Ezra situations. Also forward tilt is not too similar because they'll now basically be put into tumble. So you won't really be able to go for your grounded attacks like another forward tilt or another down tilt or grab. You'll only go for your aerial options where you just go for a forward tilt into forward air. Now you can actually combo forward tilt into back air. So you can go for forward tilt into raw back air. Um, you can go for forward tilt into lightning buster. You can go for forward tilt into up B. So you have a lot more options off of forward tilt now that aren't the same as the options you had at lower percents. Down tilt is basically the same as low percents because you go for down tilt into back air, down tilt into up air, down tilt into forward air down tilt into up B, but now you can actually go for things like down tilt into up smash and down tilt into lightning buster or neutral B because 
you'll have a lot more time since they'll probably be in tumble at this point. Up tilt is basically the same thing as low percents because you go for up tilt into up tilt again or up tilt into up air, but now you can actually just go straight for up tilt into up B at this point because they will be in tumble. Down air is basically the same as before, but now instead of only going for dash attack, you can also go for forward air because they'll be sent higher up sometimes. Um, or down air might send into tech chase situations, so you might go for a tech chase read at this point. Landing forward air is a little bit different because they will be going a little bit further, so you have to dash a little bit more for your confirms, but you can still go for a landing forward air into dash tag. You can go for a landing forward air into dash grab still, but they will be in tumble, so you have to be sure that you are in the right position to land this. Um, you can go for a landing forward air into forward air. You can actually go for a landing forward air into raw back air, which is very important at this point too. Also, sometimes it might be very tight, but you can also go for a landing forward air into side B, which is also like kind of optimal, but also very tight window. So it might be a little bit risky. So if you're playing power at mid percents, most of the combos are pretty much generally the same. The only difference is that you can't really get platform extensions. Like if you're going for down throw combos or down throw combos, you'll just go for one forward air or one up air and you won't really get a platform extension. You'll just end it there and you just start playing your advantage at that point. And whenever you're landing a down air, this is where you'll notice that down air can actually have two different hitboxes because it has the weaker hitbox that doesn't send them as high up. And this hitbox at mid percent might still keep them on the ground. And then there's a stronger hitbox that might actually send them up now with like with the spike hitbox and you'll be able to combo off of them in the air now. So if you hit the weaker hitbox, you can go for down air into jab or down air into grab or down air into down tilt and combo off of that. Um, like you usually did, or if you get the stronger hitbox, you will have to go for the aerial confirms, which is like down air into up tilt, down air into up air, down air into forward air, down air into back air. Sometimes you can even go for a down air into a B, um, but it usually works at a little bit higher percents, but it can still work at mid percents just against lighter characters. So now, since we're playing Mithra at high percents, her combo tree is a little bit different because they're getting sent a little bit further. So you don't have too many options for most of your combo starters like down throw. Now you can only really do down throw into forward air or down throw into up B. If it's a heavier character or a faster follower, you still might be able to get down throw into up B, but it's very rare that you'll be able to get something like that. When you hit landing there at high percents, it's kind of the same as mid percents because landing there, you have a lot of time to um, choose what you want to do because they're going to be in hit stun for a little bit and you're basically like out of your animation line. So you can just go for pretty much any move that you still want to go for. Like you can go for landing there into forward air corner carry, landing there into up B still, landing there into lightning buster, which can actually lead into KOs. And yeah, you can definitely still do all these things, but they're just a little bit tighter window because you have to dash into it to get this confirmed. For a landing backer also, you're not gonna get too much anymore. You're just really gonna go for a landing backer into forward air or a landing backer into up B or a landing backer into up air, but you're really just gonna go for a landing backer into forward air because this will put them off stage that can lead into off stage edge guard situations or situations that you can finally lead into more favorable advantageous situations. For Mythos Forward Tilt, you're only really going to get Forward Tilt into Forward Air, which is very good because it'll put them off stage. Or sometimes if they hold in, you can get Forward Tilt into Lightning Buster, which might actually lead into a kill if they're at the corner of the stage. For Down Tilt, this is probably actually your best move that you can use at higher percents as Mithra because you have a lot of time to combo off of it. And it can actually lead into KO moves like Down Tilt into Up Smash or Down Tilt into Lightning Buster. And then you can also do things like Down Tilt into Forward Air, down tilt into up B and down tilt into up air. For up tilt, you're really just gonna go for up tilt into up air. You're not gonna get any more off of that. That's basically it. And now you're definitely gonna be playing Pyra more at high percents because you're gonna wanna get the kill. Cause now down tilt can combo into up air as a real kill confirm, but sometimes it can also be a 50-50 where you have to read the air dodge and try to go for the kill that way. And, and also now, whenever you hit down air, you can definitely combo it into Real kill options like down air into up air, down air into forward air, down air into back air, down air into up smash. And even if they go real high off the down air, you can even combo into down air and to jump up B. You can also land on the platforms and you can net the kill this way. So now that we got over all the combos, let's talk about some of the tech that this character has, because it's not really many, but some of them actually can be very beneficial. Like as Pyra, you can go for 
Pyra Side B into Footstool, which is very beneficial because you can catch characters off guard if they don't react fast enough to go for the tech. And if you actually footstool them high enough, you can air dodge down and get jab resets. Or if they do react and go for tech situations, you can also just try to tech chase them and get more damage or potentially the kill that way. And if they're really low down to the ground and you footstool and they don't tech, you can't get a jab reset off of it, but you can get a tech chase off of it. Like you can read roll away or roll in and go for a down air into up smash, or you can read tech in, or you can read normal get up and go for a jab or a grab and get some damage off of that. So it's a very beneficial move just to know in general for some mix of potential. So another piece of tech that you might want to know about, but isn't really utilized too much because it's very character dependent is footstool down or out of shield, specifically because it only works on tall characters. Um, but if you do land it on a tall character like Sephiroth, you can actually footstool down or out of shield, um, hit them and then land on a platform afterwards and combo it into up smash and have to kill really, really early. I mean, really, really early. Last but not least, we won't really call this a tech, but it's a mechanic that is very, very beneficial that we really need to, need to talk about. And that's Mythos Foresight because it can be used on projectiles and stop projectiles from thinking they can just throw out projectiles freely because you can foresight them and get closer towards them and punish them for using projectiles, especially if it's like a lingering projectile. Um, it, like, let's say something like Rob's top, you can see that it's on the ground and you can roll through it whenever Rob gets close and you can just slow him down and get a combo off of that. Um, you can also use it out of shield uh, on multi hits, which is very beneficial because because a character like Palutena that's using there on your shield, you might force at it and just go for a punish after that. Also, force that can definitely be used as a hard read or a hard call out if you know exactly what your opponent's going to do or recognize some pattern that they're going for. You can use foresight to basically let them know, hey, I know exactly what you're doing. I know exactly what you're going to do. So I'm going to foresight you, slow you down so I can get the strongest punish that I can possibly get. Just very, very beneficial and can be game changing in a lot of situations. Not only this, but you can also use it on lingering hitboxes. So it's not even just a call out, but you can just react to some moves. Like if you see somebody's falling down with a lingering aerial, you can just foresight them and just know that they can't really do anything because they're already in the animation. Like if Snake is coming down with the landing back air, you can just try to foresight his landing back air and then try to punish him after that. Or if you notice that Ike has to up B to the ledge and he's up being high, you can, you can just foresight him when he's on his way down. And you can usually hit him before he grabs the ledge with either down tilt and then combo into forest match and to kill that way. 